Hi, I'm Luann from Healthy Home Cooking, and today I am here in my kitchen with Skip and Sue Smith from... Skip Smith, The Villages, and Skip and Sue RV Adventures. And we are going to be making bourbon mushroom pasta today. I can't wait. <laughs> First, we're going to put four pounds of mushrooms in this pan. So you want to try to do that, sure. then he can try to figure out how a garlic press works. <laughs> oh, God, love him. So you want them all there, at the yep. same time? Okay. Yep, all four. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that <laughs> burner on. There you go. You wait until your wife's done with the mushrooms, then you can just put it right on top. be all right. We might want to put that mushroom in too. Okay. And don't worry, you're just going to keep throwing them in and squeezing them out. And when you're all done, then we'll scrape it. <laughs> throwing them in and squeezing them out. That oh, that garlic is about 12 cloves of garlic, give or take. Garlic's good for your body, so... Don't be afraid to use it. How do you know it's good? It tastes awesome. There should be a whole food group called well, garlic. Well, I think it tastes good, but how do you know it's good for your body? Because, You're the one running because this I have read books. I have gone to school and I actually them? paid attention, unlike some YouTubers I know who have might have gone to school, but they've given their teachers trouble. Get that peach implement right there. Peach implement. That orange one there. This rubber spoon? Yeah. That one. You can just rub it off there. Should we take that out or just? No, that, that's good. Just scrape it as best you can. Okay. And then we'll just rinse it. Okay. Am I done? You're done with that. You're not done with the implement. Yeah. Keep it stirring there, buddy. Oh. Have you made this recipe before? A lot. A lot. And stir. even, you just want to get down to the bottom a little bit so it doesn't, if it looks like it's going to start sticking, then we're just going to toss a little bit of water in there because we didn't even put any oil in there. I was going to say, there's nothing in there. It's just it's mushrooms. It's stick, I can okay. it No. Oh, it might be that I have it up a little high too. I was getting it going and then I forgot to turn it back. So we'll just get that going on a medium. Okay, now that I have that turned back, we'll just leave that go. You can stop stirring and leave it go for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll stir again once and again. And onto the sauce. Okay, to make that sauce, you're going to put in half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Is this real applesauce? That's real applesauce from real apples. Does it taste like it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you said Amazon delivery. Who knows what Amazon delivers? Do you need a scraper? Yeah. Okay, our pasta's done, so I'm going to take it out. Can I trust you there for a minute? Good job. Now you're going to put in, remember what we call that? The liquid brownie. Nah, try tomato paste. Oh, that's right. And you want half a cup of tomato paste. One cup of vegetable broth. And then six tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Is this vinegar. Be the sauce for the pasta? It is. Okay. How many servings is this? Well, it depends how much you want to eat. It usually makes us about six servings. Okay. Do you eat a lot? Absolutely. Do you? Don't want that out. 
yeah, you can. It's the vinegar, and that's a little bit of the mother that the vinegar is made from. It's not going to hurt you. And then this is six tablespoons of tamari, which is also it's a vegan soy sauce, so you can use soy sauce instead if you so you're prefer. A vegetarian? Uh, for the most part, yeah. for the most part, here's. When was the last time you had a hamburger? <laughs> You just put in four tablespoons of onion powder. I supposed to? I no, was. no, oh. yeah, you, this all goes in. If you hand it to me, now, I'm dumping it. That's fine, because this all goes in there. And the onion powder is being put in the sauce because Jamie from Wrestler Mania refuses to eat sauteed onions. Because you could what? you could substitute onions for some of those mushrooms. And he... What great American does not eat sauteed onions? Well, he doesn't. On a good T-bone steak? Sauteed and onions? Is, you can relate, right? I have the onion part, yeah. Hamburger with sauteed <laughs> onions on it? <laughs> Veggie burger with sauteed onions yeah. on it for no, you? No, I don't know about it. I've never had one. Now, this is a tablespoon of gra grated ginger. Well, so do you, dear. Now, does that make it real hot? No. No? It just adds a little flavor to it. And then quarter cup of bourbon. Oh, I'm liking this sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go a little heavier with the bourbon, and if you are with somebody who can't have alcohol, you could substitute pineapple shot juice. Right here while you're stirring. Well, it would be yeah, good. yeah. Yeah. It will taste better that way. Yeah. Absolutely. I can drink it highly recommend it. <laughs> you just have to drink so that you can survive the day with him. Yes. And then here's two tablespoons of maple syrup. Real maple syrup? Real maple syrup because I don't do the fake stuff. Somebody told me the only place to get real maple syrup, I don't know how true this is. It's from a maple tree. Well, I know, but they said the only true place to get true maple syrup from native ancestor trees is Vermont. Vermont. I thought the only true place to get maple syrup was Costco. <laughs> well, I go with you there. <laughs> I'm not going to Vermont to look for it. And then... We have a neighbor that's a whiskey scotch connoisseur. Oh, yeah? And I asked him one time, I said, I can't tell the difference between scotch and bourbon. It's all taste the same to me. And, oh, no. He gave me this long thing. Real Scotch comes from Scotland. There's no such thing as an American Scotch. No such. Only Scotch, real Scotch, is from Scotland. That's mm. why it's called Scotch. Just so you know. Well, that makes sense, well, it but it's into still. A fight. <laughs> <laughs> How much Scotch did you drink? I told you it tastes any better than Buell and Lillard's to me. <laughs> this is three tablespoons. Coke? This is. This is. Well, not quite. I mean, you can try to. It's potato starch, but you can also use corn starch, or I also use arrowroot powder, because I don't don't usually use corn starch. So when was the last time you got up and looked out in your front yard and saw a moose? Well, I can't say I did that, but I have gotten up and saw in my front yard a 300-pound pig. Yeah. A group of roosters, deer, fox, skunk. Surely turkey. Um, no turkey, what? donkey. A donkey was eating our flowers one day. Where did he come from? Oh, farm, farmers. Oh, yeah. Got out. yeah. Same yeah. place the pig got out. Yeah. And here's a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake. Ooh. Ah! You almost dropped that. It would have been your fault. It usually is. Now, where did you say this recipe come from? Her great grandmother. <laughs> A book. <laughs> this has been handed oh, down for I generations. Where her only hair, I've messed with it. I don't, you know. This came from the Mayflower. It did. This recipe. That's why it's has fungus on it. Oh wow. Now speaking of the fungus, I'm going to go stir the fungus. Okay. What do I do with this? Keep stirring. You can keep stirring it, or you like can. It's already stirred. You're right. Yeah. But it's fun just to make watch you work for a change. We just need the mushrooms to cook a little bit, and then we can put it all together. By the way, anybody out there that's interested in retiring to Florida, my web channel, 
which is www.youtube.com forward slash Skip Smith The Villages. Can you say that again? Yes, I can as a matter of fact. I don't stutter when I do my intro. <laughs> it's the largest retirement community in the world. That's the most unique in all of the world. So go to my channel, watch them, them videos, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, so you can tell more about that than anything. Basically, our RV channel is not what some people are looking for. We, we're not full-time RVers. We don't live in it, except for small parts. When we leave an RV, it's basically an average of probably two weeks to a month, maybe six weeks at a time. And so it's a, a Class C. We do tow. By tow, I mean we do take a car with us. And so our RV channel is not only going to show you some of the travels, where we go, what we do, it also shows you how we do it. A lot of people don't know how things work on an RV. Don't know the trouble you have in an RV. And the biggest thing about us is, I'm not sure a lot of people understand how elderly people like us get along inside an RV. It's not like a house. It's a small kitchen. It's and, railings the whole way for him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well, we do. <laughs> I can't, I can't get far enough away. That's, you know. Yeah, she can't run away. <laughs> At the house, I can go to the other end of the house. This RV, you're kind of stuck. Yeah, so it's, it's different. And uh, we had an RV probably 30 years ago, and the difference that we're seeing, uh, getting back into it, back when we had our first RV, you had a, a tank for all your bad water. In the newer RVs, it's separated. You have a black tank and you have gray tanks. And I explain what the difference are. And we have to learn them too. The furnace that we had in the old one, basically you had a switch, you just turned it on and it run. And when you got hot, you shut it off. These newer ones are like the house, except everything runs on a computer. So you have computer boards. So when things go bad, you kind of have to learn how to self troubleshoot some of these things. And it's not easy for an old guy like me that's used to doing things the old way. So yeah, that's, that's what we do. And if you're interested, thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Please hit the bell and please make comments below. <laughs> <laughs> make it a Especially nice Especially if the comments are not, yeah. Do I, please do nice comments. <laughs> yeah. You make negative comments. I don't care. <laughs> I learn from them. I learned from my mistakes. So you're never coming here again is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. It's been like this all day. <laughs> well, the mushrooms are ready for the sauce. Are you ready for the mushrooms? All you have to do is you put everything in this bowl in that into that pan and then keep stirring until it thickens. So you don't want to wait till the water boils down? That would be correct because there's thickener in here. The potato starch or arrowroot or corn starch that is in there is a thickener. So as it gets warmer, it will tighten up. I don't know if put corn starch in there. Well, you didn't put corn starch, you put potato starch. You called it cocaine, remember? Oh. Okay. You didn't, but see, if you told me that, <laughs> then you'd remember. Then I'd remember. What do they do down at the villages? We drink. Mostly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of alcohol consumed. I personally, I was playing golf anywhere from four to five times a week. But your liver couldn't take it. Well, not since of that. It's just I'm getting older and my back hurts more. And, okay, and, just uh, keep stirring that. I just, uh, I don't know, it's not that I gave up golf. It's just I haven't done it for a while because I just don't feel like doing it for a while. It's just like going to the squares. We have three squares, and there's a band that every square starts at 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock every night. It's totally free. And it's got a big dance floor at every square, and of course, two for one drinks every mm -hmm. square, and all that kind of thing. And I used to go every night. My dad, when he was alive, he loved it. He wanted to go every night and watch him dance. And I just got, after a couple of years of living there full time, I, just, I don't know, I just got tired of it. It just gets old. It's kind of like. If you ate the same thing, if you love steak, and I know you do, <laughs> and if you had a steak every day for dinner, every day to steak, steak, how many days before you finally go, mm. About one. One? For me. No, I'm good for about a year. Okay. Then I'd probably say, you know, I'm getting tired of this. Oh, we're about done here? 
Yeah, it looks like it's tightening anything, up. But that's right there. That's a big bite. I think it's small for your mouth. Yeah, it probably is, but I think you ought to chop these up smaller. Well, this this is the keep it simple, stupid method. Oh. The kiss method. Because we were at Buy it, Hershey dump it today. In, don't and wash it. Just yeah, just do don't. It. Just yeah. That's what heat's for. It disinfects, right? Yes, I've been to many Civil War <laughs> battlefields. You're moving off your burner here. I'm not doing anything. Yes, you are. Your mouth is running like a duck's rear end, and you're not watching what you're doing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Are we done yet? Yeah, I think we're done. Except we had to put the pasta in there. Now you could be fancy, but we're gonna keep it simple and put it all in there. Fancy would be putting the pasta out on the plate and then... You can use any kind of pasta? Any kind of pasta. It works well over a sweet potato, a baked potato, rice, whatever you want to put it over. I think I'd dice up a little bit of meat and put it in there. You didn't taste it yet. The, it's, the mushrooms are very meaty. They're really not. Everybody says that. They're not. Not to me. Well, look at the brown, nice brown color. Doesn't that look like a meat sauce? No. Well, yeah, it does. But that don't mean it tastes like it. It looks that way. But it don't mean well, it tastes that way. Well, it tastes even better. I doubt. And your body's going to go, oh my gosh, you're finally eating something healthy. Yeah, that's the first thing I think of. <laughs> at 70 years old, that's the first thing I think of. Oh my God, I'm eating something healthy. I thought that the other day when I had a quarter pounder. One of these fries are healthy. <laughs> We're going to put a little bit in there. I can do this. Don't pick it up. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Maybe you might have to. You, know, you might have to get me another utensil. Implement. Implement. <laughs> How much do you want to put in there? Another one? Sure. More? I think that looks good. Is one person going to eat this? Yeah, that's, a, that's for you. Oh, I don't think so. I'm not eating that much. you got to try. So there I'll you go. It, I'm not eating and sometimes you put a little bit of salt over top of it, or you can put some oh, red pepper. No. Salt. Salt. Salt's a maybe, but I'm going to taste it first. Because you put weird stuff in here I've never had. No, no, any salt. It tastes, um, tastes a little tomato -y. A little. Mm hmm. Not much. That was what, what did you call that brownie? Liquid brownie? Yeah. Liquid that brownie. was the liquid brownie that was in it. Mm hmm. Really hot. Well, we just got it off the stove, if you remember. Oh, no kidding. Well, I mean, you say you are 70, so, you know, I, I have to help my elders. <laughs> you want to try it? Um, I'll try it, but... I said, you look like you're not bad. Hey, yeah. that is like a rave review from Skip. Yeah. Yeah, not me then, but I don't really miss it so much. And I love mushrooms. But the flavor, I, mean, I don't know how to describe it. A little bit of tomato, I taste that. Um, the other flavors, I don't know how to describe it. But, but it's good. There's nothing overpowering about anything. Very good. Yeah, very okay. good. I could make a meal out of this. <laughs> it would have to put meat in it. But I have, for me, I'd have to put a little bit of meat in it, but that's just me. Right. Than that, well, you could ruin it. I mean, it's your own taste. <laughs> So, well, I'm glad it's okay with you that I do that. It's fine with me. Yeah. I'll be sure to take pictures of it and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> that Have works. Have you ever had it with me? No. Never? Never, Never ever. Never in your life? No. No. You have any kind of meat in any kind of thing? Yes. Do so you know what meat tastes like? I do. Do you miss it? Not, uh, not at all. Not at all? Not ever. at ever. all, ever. Ever. 
And you know what else I don't miss? Go to your mom's house. I don't miss candy. When I have to eat meat, if I have to do it for more than a day and it's for more than one meal, yeah. I don't feel as well. You don't, you don't miss candy at all? No. I can't piece of candy to eat today on the bus. None. Yes, you did. I did not. <laughs> what? I did not. I did not eat. Scott took all my How come I didn't kisses. Get any? I gave you one. <laughs> the rest is in my pocket, actually. Don't yeah. give her candy. You don't <laughs> okay. know what she's like when she gets too much candy. She gets all kinds of irritable. Yeah, she's right. hard to live with. So she she's candy. just like you? No, I eat the candy to protect her because she just gets too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. <laughs> Please leave a comment below. <laughs> In other words, thanks for putting up with me and Skip. <laughs>